What's going on? Move the mouse here, back in the town of Rosewood. Let's play season ten, episode number seven, and fire never disappoints. So, I'm trying to. It's expensive building a green city, and uh, I was trying to make some some money in the background. Uh, I was going to clean up some of the you know, neighborhoods here and add pedestrian paths that I hadn't done yet. Just working on a couple little small things, you know, nothing major, no crazy design, nothing that I think anybody would have missed out on um, but when you unlock stuff the game generally throws a new mechanic at you you know uh, when you unlock landfill or recycling people start to complain about garbage so you have to meet that need when you unlock a uh, police department they start to complain about crime so um, when you unlock the uh, the helicopter depots for fire um, I should know better I should drop those in right away so, like I said, I was just doing some small stuff. I wasn't doing anything too crazy. Um, none of these neighborhoods had pedestrian paths in them. And uh, and then, if you remember from, I believe it was last episode, we were talking about the noise pollution. And I figured I would just rotate this over to the other side of the block, other side of the street, basically, and then I turned it into a clean uh, roundabout for both vehicles and uh, the, the uh, I was going to say the trolley. Not trolley buses, the trams. Um, and then as I was doing that, I kind of looked in the background and saw that fire happening. So the uh, the helicopters are working really hard at it. But I think we should do them a favor and... Uh, and let's redecorate our trees afterwards. Just to stop the, the spread here. Which is a totally viable technique. It costs you money to put them back. Does it cost money to demo them? I don't think so. But, you know, that'll help us out a little bit. Uh, we'll definitely want to maybe even move it. Oh, that's, I guess that's not too bad. When you when you drop these in, the uh, the fire helicopter depots, they start with it empty. So they have to fly from here to the water. Almost hit the uh, windmills there. Be careful. And uh, then deliver it to the fire. So just keep that in mind. So if I put it, you know, way over there in the inland, then... Uh, It'd have to fly really far before it picks up water. So ideally, you want it pretty close to the water. Um, and keeping in mind that that also makes noise. Not bad putting it next to uh, something, else that's, something else that's pretty noisy. And keeping in mind that that makes a lot of noise. Uh, not that bad. Sticking over here next to something else that's making a ton of noise. Uh, let's see where we're at. Real, real quick. Anything else? I don't think we missed anything else. Like I said, I was just working on some real kind of small detail work. And uh, I want to get going over here. We did unlock level four in the background as this thing's been slowly ranking up. So I think it's time, and I put a little marker over here. I think it's time to consider a new highway exit over here. Because we do have a lot of truck traffic heading into town. Just pay no attention to the fire. We gotta we gotta ignore it. We know what's gonna happen. And this is this this is just not this is not needed, so. Um, what we need to do is a nice new highway exit and then kind of decide on, you know, the large farm property that will be, you know, imagine this road still kind of here, um, where the, all the farms are, but what if we did something like, you know, came off at this angle, uh, what am I on? Upgrade? If we came off at kind of this angle and met up over here, and then this area better if I illustrate it this area here you know between that road and the highway can be one giant uh, kind of farm property um, at least the way it would appear but you notice we don't have all the the best farmland up there so what we could do let's see where's resources down this way you know we're kind of on the edge of it up there so we could put kind of the, the processing buildings and, you know, the stuff that does a little pollution and uh, the barracks and stuff that don't need to be on the good farmland and then kind of build down, you know, into this pocket 
kind of have that be like our first farm and then we'll have some roads that kind of run through here and we'll, it almost look like competing farms but really it's just it could just be one big farm we don't even care um, it's more how we kind of lay it all out or how it's spread across the area so that we don't get into this you know massive non-stop grid there's kind of ways we can hook it weave it together maybe even on the edges make a, a little forestry area so there's more industry happening there but uh, where we want to get to today other than other than having this finally burn out, um, where we want to get to today, I think, I'm not 100% yet, I think I'm going to keep building out over here and make this a real push for our residential pocket. Because um, I, I do want to fill this out at some point, may as well fill it out now and see where our traffic problems crop up. But right now we've got just a ton of demand for uh, residential, so let's come up. We've been intersecting these an awful lot uh, over here. So, freeform this, kind of follow the uh, the existing curve of the road before we hook back a little bit. Maybe we can do something a little different over here where this kind of meets up with this road that does feed a lot of traffic through here and if people are coming in from the zone over this way which eventually they will with a new uh, highway exit uh, that'll I think give them a kind of good route in there now whether or not we intersect all these I I don't think there's gonna be enough traffic in a purely residential massive residential zone like this that we're gonna have to worry about it but we'll see we might have to but I think if we keep things low density and provide good transit options, encourage walking and all sorts of stuff, we should be able to minimize a lot of the, uh, the traffic. We will want to do um, at some point is bring the tram line down this way. Haven't done that yet. And maybe even consider making this a tram street so that we can have some transit on there. Would that, would that kind of make sense? I think we should... Hmm. I think we should rethink this real quick. Maybe this is a uh, a tram line, but a two a two way street, two lane street. That is a trolley bus. We want the trams. We'll upgrade this, and then we'll rethink how the different roads hook in there. Because maybe we have few to no intersections here. This is one way. Somebody, somebody probably noticed that before I did. It's like, what? Why are you spamming a bunch of one way? I don't think you mean to do that. You're right, I did not, if you were thinking that. So, come on, come on. So where we have, you know, these very few intersections into the zone and they're gated, right? Except for this one that we're ignoring back here in the... Uh... We can fix that. We'll, we'll put a couple more gates in. Um, we don't want these intersections happening all the way out here at the main street all the time. So we want people leaving... Entering and leaving the zone through specific roads. This would not be a bad one to have. Uh, nope, not that one. Not a bad one to have the uh, little toll booth on. We can rotate it the way we want, that is. We're going to have to make the road meet it, I believe. <laughs> It's not very uh, forgiving. We'll do that. Back this down just a little bit. And where were we? Trams? Tram roads? Somewhere over here? Now, we haven't... Uh, made this trim yet. We may as well do that and drop a line in real quick, right? Um, the, the thing that I wish we could have, I wish we could have trams and parking. But I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't. But it would be nice to be able to mix in some occasional parking on the street here or there. Is that already tram? That's already tram, okay. Oh yeah, that's where the station comes in. It has to be tram. So now we could have a line that comes down this way. And maybe even, you know, a little square here. You know, this is going to be servicing some some traffic around our lake. We'll have, you know, 
different plots and different projects that we spin up off of that. But I thought this is definitely, this could definitely be kind of where we draw the line for a little more tram access and a little more separation into that zone there. Uh, but enough babble here. Let me, uh, let me freeform a couple roads. And do some zoning over here. Double check the pipes and I will be right back. Here's, here's a real hard to follow uh, super fast time lapse version of what I just did. All right, so we've made some more space to uh, kind of move people in here in Greenwood. The uh, the one real solid idea I have, or at least that I want to kind of see spec out, is stamping this kind of uh, self-sufficient, green, eco-friendly building uh, all over this oil patch, just as a complete uh, counterpoint to <laughs> what the map maker may have intended, um, which was to pollute the heck out of this area if you did anything with it. So. We're gonna go the exact opposite, and uh, this is the one kind of part of the build. Um, not to say it's not up for debate, but uh, I'm certainly open to suggestions. In fact, we're doing uh, something that, that just came up in the Discord the other day. Um, let me show some cinematic for a moment. Uh, I thought it was a really cool idea, so one of the patrons suggested uh, an idea, and somebody else suggested something else, and, and somebody joked that it, you know, it was almost a city council, and it's a great idea, so. Uh, if you're a patron or a channel member uh, coming over to the Discord, make sure that you know me or one of the mods knows and we'll get the role uh, added correctly. But uh, if you're a patron or channel member, uh, stop up by the Discord and join the first city council. So we're starting a city council. If you support, if you're supporter of the channel, come on by and we're going to debate some uh, some topics and, uh, and vote on some things for the city. And there's a lot of stuff that we want to kind of squeeze in here. But, uh, but the one thing that I'm already sold on is just self-sufficient buildings massive residential center there um, and then we'll figure out how to connect it all but that's the one thing that i'm really sold on we've bounced a couple ideas around in the comments um people would like to see you know kind of the industry get out of here uh, it would be cool to kind of have uh, a university up here i was also thinking university tucked in on this side of the highway that way we can have kind of a massive campus and keep you know the big sports arenas separate uh, but it would fit just as well kind of in that nook right there. So uh, we're, we're thinking about university. We're thinking about, you know, shopping centers and transport hubs and kind of how it all hooks into this massive space. So if you've got ideas, let me know in the comments. Join the Discord. Or, of course, if you want to get in on the official city planning meetings, become a patron or a channel member today. Shameless self-promotion out of the way, though. Um, let's look at. We're not going to we're not going to move everything around today. And the reason that we're not going to do that is because our budget is razor thin right now. We've got to look at that. Um, but also, we just don't have a ton of money to move a lot of buildings around. Uh, but maybe we could look at our production chain. Uh, it looks like the uh, the animals are not getting enough crops. But interestingly, there's not enough places to send this to, which is, you know, food. Send it next door. They're asking for food right next door, please. So, uh, kind of wondering what's up with that, um, again, so we'll jump into industries and let's look at what we've unlocked at level four, but also what we need to do to kind of fix some of our, uh, our business here. So we've got a farm main building and we've got 20 of the barracks. Now these increase work efficiency of the workers in an area. Each building increases the efficiency by five up to a maximum of 100. So we have 20 of them. My math checks out. That should be 100%. So we're running a nice, efficient industry. We have the farm maintenance building now that we've unlocked. And maintenance buildings take care of industrial buildings, increasing their utilization rate and reducing waste. So that's certainly a good thing. Increases the storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5%. Each maintenance building increases the storage capacity. I wonder if that also goes up to... No, it can't be. You can't have 20 of those things, right? You just have one of these, right? You, okay, you can have more. I wonder if that is supposed to upgrade like the um, like these do. Is it stackable? I don't know. 
Uh, what we've also unlocked, though... Why don't we already put these in? The medium versions of the fields. We've already done that. Now, I guess what we could do is... Do we store the excess? Is that, you know... What that message is, is not enough buyers, I believe. Not enough buyers for products. They have they have products. They don't have anywhere to send it. Um, unfortunately, actually, they're not complaining right now. What we could do is back under industries and under warehouses. No, nope, under farming. Where is it? We have the small grain silo. We haven't unlocked the large one. You unlock that at level five. So we could store some of this grain. The problem with these, uh, the smaller version is that for every single square on the road, that's trucks turning and entering and trucks turning and entering. So if you have a bunch of these next to one another, um, it creates a ton of traffic. So uh, what we could do for now is do, let's just do a handful of them right here. It's not ideal. It's going to generate traffic. We're going to move things around in uh, in the big picture anyways. Now, if we inspect on these, we have the option for balanced, fill, and empty. So by default, they're unbalanced. They'll try and maintain stock, but, you know, if, if it's needed or there's, you know, reason to export, it'll go ahead and it, it'll just keep it basically half full or it'll try to. If we're trying to maintain a backlog of storage and, and really store something up for a big project or a factory, uh, we could set it to fill. And if we just want to empty it at all costs and not store any of that product, you can set it uh, to the empty mode. But basically, balance is a safe bet to leave it on. You'll have some excess storage there. You'll still be exporting stuff and making money for your city. Um, but you can see, because of the small footprint, and especially as they're filling up and, and being utilized a lot right now, you have these trucks that keep coming and going and uh, it certainly creates a bit of noise and if you have more of these stacked up on uh, on one another it's gonna get messy real fast uh, traffic wise but we didn't have that much going on over here so it should be okay I would like to see for a minute before we continue in industry what's going on with our budget and that definitely has something to do with it so let's do this let's take a look through here because this is not uh, this is not ideal. We want to sort this out. So electricity wise, we're producing, consuming one twelve, one forty. Why is it, why is it skyrocketing as I look at this? What just happened? What are we doing? We move that many people in that fast? We can still afford to turn it down a little bit. So let's go into economy, and budget. And look at what 85% looks like. It's cool. We're going to have to mess with that in like two minutes, but okay, that'll make us a little money. What about water? What we should do is add a sewage treatment plant so that we can turn down the overall budget for the water. Because right now we're making a lot more water. We can't afford to turn the budget down because then we'll be backed up with sewage, which nobody wants. No, thank you. So what does that water treatment plant run? What were we doing? The uh, How close are we on this? 36,000 population. We're way off. Um, eco water outlet. And then this one was the inland water. Advanced eco. Okay. There's inland water and then what? Advanced? And then the eco inland and eco advanced? So when I mean, we're going eco, you can tell because it's got it's got green bars on it. So you see it's got green it's green. It's good for the environment. Don't mind all the sewage that we're pouring into the ground here. Please uh please ignore that. Don't worry that it's, you know, a little bubbly and brown over here in this grass. It's fine. It's normal. Uh, so let's see where that gets us. You see that then that, that gets us in line where our water availability and sewage treatment are, are right up hovering about the same point. So if we were to now back our water budget down just a little bit, let's try 90 on this because I don't think we have as much headroom here. 
yeah, we didn't. We definitely didn't. Um, oh, I guess, it, you know what? I mean, it wasn't as much we could back to 85, but I, I guessed well. So now we're saving a little bit of money on electricity and water, but not a lot. And by the time I uh, go through the rest of this, probably, uh, probably need to turn those things back up. Although it looks... Oh, man. <laughs> Never mind. Did I not... I didn't even water all the way over here. That's awful. I thought I covered all those streets for some reason when I built that, but... Alright, let's just do that for now. Not a lot of money to spare, and still in the red. I think what we're doing is we're spending way too much money on the upkeep of all these jobs without having enough actual workers over here. Did I even look at that? Is that what's tanking our budget? It's 160 per week times 20. Um, so that's a lot of money. 3000 right? $3,200. Um, so... That could be hurting us quite a bit. <laughs> Probably should have thought about that before I dropped all those in there. Uh, we'll get a couple more industry buildings in over here. We're still not, you know, this is not final project time. But we should look at... What does flower need? Just crops? So we're not getting enough crops over here to produce flour. We've unlocked a unique factory, I think. Our first. There's a bakery. Wow, we are tight on budget. Uh, while we're talking about this. We'll borrow some money from the people. So back in industries, bakery-wise, we're not in enough city growth to really do this, but uh, bakery needs crops, flour, and animal products. And we produce flour by using crops. We produce animal products by using crops. So we need twice as much crops at least, right? Or three to one. Because you need crops. You need crops to make flour. You need crops to make animal products. So you need a lot more crops than, uh, than anything else in the farm. And I guess that kind of makes sense. But that's going to enable us to do uh, a bakery here. There's a tiny little bit of pollution tiny little pollution bubble so watch out for that it's not too bad you can see it it wouldn't affect uh, across the street into our actual farming area but let's go ahead and drop this right here for now so we can try and get some of that production going but in order to keep up with it I think we really need um, people moving out almost still making some money here there we go okay so now that we've borrowed some money set our tax rate back down you're paying for improvements for the city, everybody. You should appreciate that. We're going to make this place beautiful. Trust me. You just got to stick around. You got to stay tuned, please. And if you stay tuned this long, maybe leave a like. But anyways, the... Where were we before Shameless Self-Promotion? Uh, we dropped in the bakery, and we want to drop in some more crop fields if we can. Uh, because we need lots. That is forestry. That's not going to help us right now. So can we squeeze these in here? Oh, wow. Does that just fit perfectly? That's fantastic. So let's do that. We'll come all the way to the end of the zoning. What is this? This is a crop field. We'll do another crop field right here. Right next to it. We could probably rethink these power lines at this point because I don't think those need to be there. Uh, let's let our tax problem go away, I guess, right? Because we can still make money off them at 12%. Hopefully our budget will, will settle down dramatically here in a moment. Um, but yeah, we want to cram in, you know, as much as much croppage as we can. Oh, I should I should have probably started from this side, right? How much is it to move these? <laughs> uh, I'm so wasteful. Don't do... I would... Just don't, don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes, please, because apparently I don't. Um, can we get this here? Yes, we can. Without having to add road, most importantly. So we'll we'll tighten this up. You know what I mean? This is kind of... We'll get the big versions of the crop and fruit fields. 
and uh, and we'll kind of do that. You know, we'll do these purpose-built areas that are focused on one type, and and there'll be maybe gravel roads. Um, but we'll make it look like a gigantic farm operation with different areas devoted to different types of the crop and different parts of the supply chain. Uh, and we can use that entire farming area, that big yellow triangle. Um, it'll, you know, in game be one giant farm. I think. I don't know. Maybe we'll split it up into a couple. I don't. I don't know the logistics just yet. Um, of managing a farm that large, but we can certainly make it work, and uh, and and make it, you know, a, an interesting pattern that's um, repeatable, but but different enough that you know when we switch up different crop types, different trees, different greenhouses, we can create all these different little sub pockets that are going to make it look like a bunch of different farms. Um, but we'll we'll have some fun with it. We've got to start, I think. Like, these just aren't successful over here, right? They just... P buildings move in, then they get abandoned. And we're not doing any favors for our city, I think, at this point. I don't know that we need this at all, if it's if it's getting abandoned like this. Let's at least back it down to where the abandonment is a little... a little better. Something like that, right? And by reducing... The, uh, the zonable industry space over here. That also should increase our demand at some point because, you know, now that they're not moving in over there, they're going to ask for other spots. And we might we might look at, you know, expanding this just a little bit towards the highway um, for the short term until we can get... Until we can get... Do we have it? I'll be embarrassed if we have it. Uh, city planning? Unlocked at 7,500. Industry 4.0. Uh, new technologies. Uh, increased education. Increased production. Reduces workplaces. Okay, that wasn't the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of is unlocked. That's filter industrial waste. Making them pollute the ground a lot less. But. We're dumping pollution. We're dumping sewage into the ground right next door. So until we upgrade to water treatment... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that until we have something that has a zero pollution option. I should have looked at that because the I think I did and I was disappointed both times, right? Because the Green Cities one, the eco water treatment. Yeah, eco water treatment. Zero pollution. Drink the water right out of the tap. Totally fine. Uh, over here, advanced eco advanced. Still pollutes a little bit, so... Unfortunately, that's our best option. So until we uh, we unlock that at 36,000, we're going to be pouring pollution in the ground anyways. So I'm not going to worry about the industry too, too much. Uh, but then we'll, we'll work at converting this area. Wow. Residential demand. People just really, really, really want to move in. And I can't fault them for it. I think this is going to be a really, uh, a really great city. Do we do? We do. Do we do? We do. Um, here's what we will do in a big brown shoe full of goo, Mr. Moo. Uh, sorry, I've been reading a lot of Dr. Seuss to my daughter lately. It gets in your head, uh, so much so that you can't remember that you were going for the roads tab and a toll booth and you were going to do another toll booth. Oh, you were going to do another toll booth, but they don't let you connect them that way. That's too bad. So we have to stagger our entrances a little bit here. We can do that, though. That's all right. So we'll even have an entrance that... Because this, you know, this tip kind of goes over that way, let's, let's actually kind of have the... Let's see if we can hook it that way. If it'll let me. I think it depends on the bend. See, that works. That's okay. I'm all right with that. So that kind of forces traffic in that way. And maybe we could have another entrance, you know, up here. Oh, not enough money. <laughs> okay. Um, I think this is a great spot to break. Uh, because I need. I just need to... You know what I need to do? I need to sit here on three times speed. I need to get a better look at my budget and stop expanding so fast. I'm, I'm hurting myself. I'm putting up unnecessary roadblocks. Um, by, by just spending a ton of money at once. 
Um, and it's, you know, hey, it's this is the challenge of the game. Uh, I hope that you learn something every time that uh, that you tune in, even if it's that I uh, make really bad decisions for somebody who has played this game so much. That might be the only takeaway. But if that's the only takeaway, hopefully you got some entertainment out of it. But uh, but definitely, I need to do a little bit of grinding, a little bit of money management here. Uh, obviously, a lot of zoning for residential. But there's a couple projects that are coming up, and I think they're going to be some fun ones. So we're going to, again, kind of, this, this four-lane road, we've got to add some trolley uh, tram service down uh, to this area. And we can even extend it up, you know, into this neighborhood. And we've got to turn around up there. So we could kind of hook this into multiple different lines all around the city. The tram is going to be very essential to how people get around Rosewood. But we need to do some commercial pockets soon enough. That uh, demand for uh, residential will flatten and skyrocket everything else at some point. Um, but we've got to figure out a spot for a university. I'm, I'm thinking... I was originally thinking over here. Someone was convincing me that here would be a good spot. And and if we look at, you know, again, I'm, I'm kind of inspired by Boulder for this particular build, Boulder, Colorado. Um, and the, the university is kind of smack there, kind of in the middle of the highway and, you know, neighborhood structure. Um, so this might be university. That might be, you know, I'm thinking maybe more farms and, and, and trains up there, but definitely trains, you know, we have access to there. If we do the nine square, the three by three, which I believe that we will think that prevents shipping but that's totally fine that's not the point of uh, this city but you know I kind of want to build out there to get trains trains would be interesting but I also want to kind of keep things around this this nine square keep it kind of tight so that it, it there's a there's an excuse for why it fades off I, I always try and do it I always have some lines that I don't quite like on the edge of the map um, but you know those are the limitations especially with uh, nine tiles I challenge the PC players to not play with tile mods. Just do a nine tile city. See how far you can get before you hit that unlock all button. I'm going to do one thing. One thing real quick before we go. Because we need it. And I think we can. I don't think it, co it doesn't cost a lot. Uh, we're going to do a tram line that comes. Where's this one service? So this one service is that neighborhood. We'll start there. Are there crosswalks there? I think there are. So we'll do a stop there. And then let's do one next to each neighborhood entrance, even though they're not going to get utilized too much right now. Uh, one next to this entrance. And one next to that one. Because we have one here at the shopping center. We don't... Do we want one on both sides? I mean, I guess we could. And then we'll complete the line. So now, there's at least some tram service to get people there. And if they're willing to come here, I'm pretty sure they're willing to transfer a block away. Um, we could tighten these up a little bit later on. And, and try and make it a little bit uh, more appealing. Do they have tram hubs? Man, for somebody that was trying to do an outro like five minutes ago, uh, I am sure digging for stuff to talk about. Hold on a second. Last thing, and then we're out of here. Bus Metro Hub Metro. Train Metro Hub. No, huh? No tram hubs? Gotta go to PC for that? Metro? Monorail train. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make our own. We'll get a backup. Oh, I love that they're different line colors. That's great. I it shows you how little I've done trams. So that 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 just excited me without having to click anything or do mods. Just in the game. That's great. Uh, they will get backed up as they all leave the station at the same time for the first time. So don't uh, don't ever judge your um, the success of your uh, traffic um, on things like bus lines or trams or trolley buses because this is what they do. They all spawn at the same time. You could, if you pause the game when you created the line, uh, reduce the... Where is it? So you can go into lines, uh, or you can just go... could have just gone into the transport routes, over to trams, and uh, you can back down the number of vehicles. So if you paused it when you created it, right, and then set this down to, you know, five, 
waited a second, set it up to 10. You could slowly introduce uh, cars to the line if you wanted to kind of avoid these kind of pileups. Uh, speaking of avoiding pileups. All right, last thing, and then we're out. Stop. Do they get their own private private resting place? Up here in the city service area somewhere? Cro you know where the perfect spot for it is. Across the street from the clinic. You, If you've been here before, you know why. Because if they mess up, they don't have to bring them too far. With that out of the way, though, uh, kind of an all-over-the-place uh, build. I, I turned the game on for a minute, and I was working on some pedestrian paths, and I wasn't even going to record it. I was just doing a little bit of cleanup and setting the stage for what was going to happen in the next episode. And then that gigantic forest fire broke out, um, which the trees actually look pretty green. We remember to drop those trees back down. I'm sure I'll notice at some point. But uh, yeah, I had a nice fire and figured I would hit record and see where we went today. And we went all over the place, but hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, Likes, comments, shares all help the channel and are all greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Mostly this for right now, but there'll be other stuff too. If you've got questions, join the Discord. Fantastic group of people and regardless of what platform you play on or your experience level, we probably have somebody that can help you out. If you'd like to support the channel, that is also so greatly appreciated. Links to that and all those other things in the description down below. But until the next one, when, I don't know, maybe we'll get around to unlocking uh, enough residents for university. Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully. Until then, though, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.